Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the shocking discovery that interstellar comet 3I Atlas may have performed a non-gravitational maneuver near the Sun, mysteriously accelerating and changing color, raising speculation that it could bear the technological signature of an internal engine beyond known physics. According to a NASA engineer, 3I Atlas exhibited unexpected behavior as it passed behind the sun, a moment when it should have been governed purely by gravity. It made a non-gravitational maneuver as it went behind the sun, according to a NASA engineer. Harvard scientists Avi Loeb stated in his blog that Davide Fanocchia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, filed the first evidence of the object making mysterious moves. The data states that it made a radial acceleration away from the sun by 135 kilometers per day squared. There was also a transverse acceleration relative to the sun's direction of 60 kilometers per day squared, Loeb wrote. This is a jolting revelation since comets do not suddenly move away in this fashion. This non-gravitational acceleration was measured at the perihelion distance of 1.36 times the Earth-Sun separation. The non-gravitational acceleration was not the only thing that was observed as it hid in the Sun's glare. The comet also changed color. It turned a bright blue instead of the usual red. Loeb claims that the non-gravitational acceleration and the change in its color are related. The non-gravitational acceleration might be the technological signature of an internal engine, he wrote. This might also explain the report that it is getting bluer than the sun. This might also explain the report on 3I Atlas getting bluer than the sun. Ideally, the dust around a comet should turn the scattered sunlight red. Loeb has called this the ninth anomaly that the interstellar object has displayed. Some observations made by spacecraft have revealed that it became extremely bright as it swung behind the sun. On October 28th, two researchers posted a study to the preprint server archive saying that it rapidly brightened ahead of perihelion. According to them, the comet will have brightened to roughly magnitude 9 at perihelion. Amateur astronomer and comet hunter Warachate Boomplod spotted the comet in images from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOES-19 weather satellite. He noted in the comet's mailing list group that the brightness of 3I Atlas was comparable to nearby stars with a magnitude close to 11. The comet is moving from left to right and should go out of the CCOR1 field on October 24th. Loeb further says that the picture on 3I Atlas would become clearer once it becomes visible again. Over the month, it takes 3I Atlas to cross a spatial scale of order its perihelion separation from the Sun. It would lose about a tenth of its mass, he wrote. Such a massive mass loss should be detectable in the form of a large plume of gas surrounding the comet during the upcoming months of November and December 2025. Scientists will be waiting for it once it re-emerges, especially when it reaches its nearest point to Earth on December 19th. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.